it's nice to look at the prints all together in a mass um, because you you're looking at all these various people that are part of an, an urban society but it's also uh, nice as well to get in and look uh, more closely at, at, uh, at, at the images and um, if for example you go in on, on this particular picture uh, we can see in this face and this great wonderful mass of hair uh, just how incredibly fine the uh, block cutter has had to work to make these uh, extremely uh, thin lines and if we shift over to the to the right here on the back of this individual he's got these curious flame light decorations which show that he's a, a spirit or a ghost uh, these flames have been printed uh, using orange and using yellow and using uh, and using black on the edges uh, but also uh, uh, originally they would have been shiny because they've been printed with uh, with metallic inks which have now ox uh, oxidized so we get this immense amount of of effort this immense uh, uh, range of craft skills and and, and care taken to produce a, a, a print that's uh, uh, costing very little um, i don't know how many uh, individual wood blocks were actually uh, used to make this this particular print but not less than 12 and maybe um, and maybe uh, and maybe 15 uh, this is an extraordinary extraordinary uh, uh, thing i think that uh, uh, this print which dates from uh, about 1853 1854 is is made by hand at the at the same time as in europe Many prints have been made in Europe, the majority in uh, in black and white, machine printed, uh, whereas this is being uh, uh, effectively printed on a man's lap.